So what we're going to do is show you the proper method for packing the webbing version of the Escape Artist. Um, so the first thing we want to do is take the webbing, put in a figure eight on the end to make sure it doesn't come out of the device so that the end doesn't peel through the device when you're trying to descend. The next thing we want to do is prep the webbing to get packed inside the bag. So I want to take the knot and just hang it off the end of my hand and then fold, kind of wrap the webbing back and forth. And with 50 feet, you can almost get it all in your hand, but it's actually easier if you do it in two chunks when it comes time to pack. So when your hand gets full, you want to set that down to the side. Take the next group. And you want these about the same width as the bag because it makes packing it up a little bit easier. Next step would be to open the bag, grab half of it, feed it in, push it down, grab the next half, bring it right up over the top, push it in, and force it into the bag because it'll help it flatten out a little bit later. The next thing is we want to set the distance between the hook and the device. This is a critical measurement so you want it to be about an inch and a half from the tip of the hook to the device because that's going to help make sure that my drop distance when I egress the building isn't too far. If that distance is too big, you run the risk of impact loading or actually having the hook come out of the sill plate. So when we pack it in, I want to take the webbing, bring it tight along the sides of the device, and notice it's upside down so you can't read the escape artist, and you want it so that the handle and the hook are close together. The line has to be nice and smooth, I don't want twists over the top or anything else. I'm going to take this, take the, uh, the webbing, tuck it up next to the handle, bring it underneath, make sure my web, make sure the escape artist is tucked in tight, and then what will help hold it in place is you want the hook to come over the top of the tether. Bring the hook down, secure it with the Velcro. And then the rest of the webbing can just get tucked right into the top. We're going to take it, we're going to close it up. Now it's ready for use.